Hi there, Toby Kohler back again with Mayo Men's Health Moment. Today I'd like to cover penile injections, a underutilized but very effective treatment for rectal dysfunction. Penile injections are a great treatment for ED. It's understandable that men will get squeamish when you talk about putting needles in their penis, but uh, bear with me, uh, and I think you'll come to understand that this is a safe and effective and quite inexpensive uh, method to help with erections. What happens logistically if you do decide to use these uh, shots is uh, eventually after you get trained how to use them properly, when it comes time to have sex, you drop your own medicine using this tiny insulin needle. Uh, then you go ahead and inject yourself into the side of the penis, typically in this area here. You never want to inject on the bottom or the top of the penis. So you can inject either side. And then after you've injected the medicine, um, you hold pressure for 30 seconds. And about five minutes later, you should have a good erection. Again, you never uh, inject yourself in the tip of the penis. That would be painful and unnecessary. You want to go on the, the shaft. Uh, there are different formulations available of injections that you can try, which I'll go into next. So alprostadil is the most commonly uh, used uh, injection, and there are actually two FDA-approved versions of this medication, both Caverject and Edix. They come in kind of a pre-packaged kit that, that travels easily, uh, and as soon as you're ready to have sex, you kind of assemble the syringe together, it activates the medicine, and then you inject it, and away you go. Uh, these, this approach, using these FDA-approved uh, medications, tends to be a little bit more expensive, and your insurance may not cover it, and so most people who use pain injections will actually use off-label uses of uh, injectables in the form of Trimix, Bimix, or Quadmix. So a Prosadil, you can get uh, from a compounding pharmacy and also get it relatively cheaply. We'll talk about cost in a little bit. Uh, but um, although it's very effective and has very little side effects, um, it can cause more pain than these other formulations. Uh, so if people try a Prosadil in that they don't either don't tolerate it because of pain or it's not strong enough, then you graduate to the next level of medications. So the next medication that's commonly used is Trimix. Now, Trimix is about eight times stronger on the whole than Alprosadil. And this one you would get from a compound pharmacy, and it tends to decrease the pain with the medication itself because there's less Alprosadil in the mixture, but there's two other chemicals, papaverin and phentolamine, which all three work together, thus the name Trimix, to have a very uh, strong response. With the stronger medications come slightly higher risks of scarring in the penis or uh, feeling a lump in the area where you inject it over time, or priapism, that's an unwanted erection lasting greater than four hours, which is a medical emergency. We'll talk more about that later. Bimix is a different formulation of papaverin and phentolamine, and this may be a good choice for men who are really have a lot of pain with alprosadil uh, as a single agent. So this one works pretty well, and is not as strong as Trimix. And then Quadmix is the most powerful of all, which is rarely written for, but sometimes if you fail the highest dose Trimix, Quadmix can help a certain percent of men still get good erections with this type of injection. So what are the advantages? Well, it works. So in 60 to 90% of men who fail pills, the shots will be effective in getting good erections. That's pretty impressive, right? Um, why does it not work? Well, if people have severe venous leak, that's where the blood can't be trapped in the penis. It doesn't matter how much medication you give to pull blood in, it just leaks out as fast as it comes in. And so those are the guys that actually fail the pill, I'm sorry, fail the shots in general. You'd think these medications would be very expensive, uh, but the truth is they average around five to $10 per erection or about $100 per vial of medication. Typically per vial, there's gonna be anywhere from 10 to 30 doses in there, right? So you do the math, it can be as cheap as $3 an erection to as expensive as $10 an erection. It is relatively easy to use. Uh, most people say give it five tries and you'll get the hang of it. Um, now, we had talked about in other videos that if you don't wanna use shots or you're very afraid of needles, you don't have to try this and you can go to other treatment approaches. But it's probably worth giving it uh, a shot, no, or actually pun intended, uh, to see if this would be a good treatment for you. What about the disadvantages? Well, 
You're sticking a needle in your penis. So some people, uh, that's a non-starter, right? So, uh, but you can try it and decide whether or not it hurts or not. So there is actually a good study uh, by a guy named Jeff Elbaugh, who I trained with uh, several years ago, where he actually took 65 men who got their first injection, penile injection, and they had them rate their pain on a scale of 1 to 10. So uh, from the needle, the average pain score, with 10 being horrific pain and 1 being hardly any pain, as little as possible, uh, the average score from the needle was 0.8, right? So uh, most guys didn't think the needle hurt that much. Interestingly, the medication itself had a higher pain score uh, with a total of 1 out of 10 because of the burning that it could sometimes cause. So not the needle going in, but the medicine itself causing a little discomfort in the penis. If you look at the range of scores of the 65 men, the, the, the worst score that the needle got was 3 out of 10, and the worst score that the medication got was 5 out of 10. So give it a try. It may not be as painful as you think. Priapism is a medical emergency. Uh, this is where you get an unwanted erection that lasts greater than four hours. The number one cause of priapism is these type of medications. Uh, sometimes people will use these medications, uh, they'll borrow it from a friend or whatever, and if you don't have problems with erections, you probably will get priapism, especially if you use the more powerful Triamix. Uh, so do not use these uh, medications without uh, proper advice from a physician or proper prescription because you will end up in the emergency room and it can end up uh, with permanent uh, erectile dysfunction or a surgery to reverse this uh, unwanted erection. Uh, another thing that can happen as a result of the erection is a new onset curvature or lump, lumpiness in the penis where the needle goes in. Now, most guys will alternate sides of where the shot goes in and locations in the penis, so this typically is not a problem. And as far as getting a new curve as a result of the medicine, I don't think it's so much from the medicine, but it's probably a result of trying to have intercourse with maybe a penis that isn't as strong as possible, not a 10 out of 10 erection. So when you have sex with a, a weaker erection, uh, you can sometimes cause trauma or damage to the penis, which that can lead to curvature. So maybe it's the underlying problems with erections, not so much the medicine itself. That's my theory anyway. When you look at guys who use injections and are successful with it, the discontinuation rates are pretty high. Some people swear by it, uh, but other people, they try it for a while and they just decide it isn't for them. So here, 25 to 80% of men who get a prescription will quit within a year to two years. Um, what are some of the risk factors for discontinuing? Well, uh, if you're older or your partner's older, <clears throat> Uh, you tend to not like injections as much. Maybe it's because it's a little bit harder to drop the medicine or inject yourself properly. You have to be able to see your penis uh, to inject yourself safely. So if you have a big belly and you can't see the area very well, this may not be the, the greatest treatment. Um, interestingly, diabetics uh, will tend to discontinue medications. And I think this is because diabetics uh, tend to get venous leak and the medication tends to become less effective as that worsens. Diabetics are obviously very good with needles if they give themselves insulin shots anyway, so most of the time guys who give themselves insulin shots are really, really good at self-administering, but just it's the question of whether or not it will work for them uh, for sex because of the penis leak issue. And then uh, if you have a history of uh, prostate removal uh, for cancer, that was also a risk factor. Uh, often the ED is so severe that men will progress to needing surgery, and so that's one of the reasons why people stop. So our practice at Mayo Clinic, um, it's not like we give you these needles and just ship you out the door. You have uh, several intensive training uh, sessions with our nurses or our physicians, or uh, we have you watch videos to help as well. You can see this is a handout here. This is the size of the needle here, are some of the, the doses. These are given in units, right? So a unit is, uh, there's 100 units in one of these syringes. So typically a, a dose of Trimix would be, let's say, five to ten units, and then you can go up from there. Um, the partner can learn how to give these shots, and so th they can participate as well. And uh, typically you're going to go home with either a Trimix dose of five to twenty units or an Alprosil dose of ten to twenty micrograms. Depending on how strong the medicine is, that's going to be a different amount of uh, medicine that you're going to inject into your penis. After you start using penile injections, it's very important that you follow up with a physician. 
uh, to make sure that things are still working well and that you don't develop new onset curvature or area of scar. Again, we talked about how the medication itself may cause some scarring in the penis, but I think it's probably weak erections that lead to new onset peronies or new onset curvature. So again, this is not a process that you, know, you uh, basically don't, you need to be trained on it very well, I should say. And so at our clinic, uh, we make sure you're very comfortable and confident and you actually will inject yourself before you leave just to make sure you can do it right. Now, I just need to put in a uh, word of warning. So you can go to these shot clinics or these places uh, where they basically guarantee erections. They're typically not urologists or medical doctors, um, but they offer you Trimix or Quad Mix or any of these medications we discussed. But instead of charging you the standard fee, which is somewhere on the, the range of $100 per vial of medications, uh, they charge you $1,000, $2,000. So it's the exact same medicine that a physician is going to write for you, but they call it their quote-unquote proprietary blend. So maybe it's a different concentration of these different medications. And they'll have you use them. Now, if you end up with a problem after you use these medications, they can't fix you. Then you have to go to the emergency room, and then you'll, ca you'll call a guy like me, a urologist, to help uh, get rid of the priapism. So you have to be really careful about these quote, shot clinics that offer these medications at a very high price, and then they can't handle the complications that the shots may offer, right? So um, if you visit a standard uh, physician who offers these injections, they should cost, again, on the order of 5 to $10 per injection or shot to the penis. If it's any more than that, uh, do, do your homework and find someplace else. An alternative to SHOTS is MUSE, and that stands for Medicated Urethral Suppository. This is like a little uh, grain of rice that is inserted into the urinary tube with a small uh, inserter device. Um, this was a treatment that initially uh, got a lot of enthusiasm before the pills came out, and it can work in some men, but it's essentially the same medicine that comes uh, in the injectable version, but instead of going directly into the penis, it has to kind of get absorbed through the urethra where you place it. And so it isn't as effective uh, in causing an erection as the shots are because it has to travel further and it just doesn't get as high a dose. So if you look at the total effectiveness of this medication, it's about half that of the shots. Uh, the cost of Muse uh, is typically 30 to $50 per dose, so higher than the shots. And sometimes it's covered by insurance, but a lot of times it's not. So if you're deathly afraid of needles, but don't want to do surgery to fix the penis, you could certainly try the Muse, but it is costly and ultimately ends up being a small part of my practice for men with severe erectile dysfunction. The side effects with the Muse are very similar to they are with just the standard Alprostadil injection. You can get pain 25 to 30% of the time from the medication itself. You can get urethral bleeding, and rarely you can get priapism or new scarring of the penis, but this is actually again, much more common with the, the Trimix or the stronger medicines. So it's something you can try. Finally, I'd like to talk a little bit about a penile Doppler. So uh, whenever you get a penile Doppler, this is a blood flow test of the penis, which aims to assess the underlying problems of either erectile dysfunction or where the curvature is coming from. So this right here is a cross-section of the penis, and you can see that the penis kind of looks like a fly with two eyes here, and then this is the mouth of the fly. So these are the bodies of the penis, the strength columns, and that's the urethra of the urinary tube. This is a picture of a penile Doppler from the side, and this is the main cavernous artery, which we can study. And so what happens for these penile Dopplers is We'll first try to find this blood vessel with the flaccid penis and we'll measure the arterial inflow. And this is very low in the flaccid penis, like five centimeters per second. Then you'll get a penile injection to get a good erection. And we'll re-measure the blood flow in the penis. And all of a sudden, boom, you see these giant spikes of blood flow into the penis. And that's what triggers the erection. So when we look at the difference of the arterial inflow between the flaccid and the erect state, we can tell if there's problems with uh, blood flow in. Then we can also see if there's any problems with the venous leak that we described. So a penile Doppler is a great test to, to give you information as to how bad your curve is, uh, whether or not penile injections would work for you because indeed you need to get one to induce an erection for the test, and um, to see 
uh, if potentially this is a long-term treatment that you'd want to use for erections. Um, so the ultrasound reveals information about blood flow, response, and curvature. If you're debating getting a, a penile implant uh, and you're on the fence about trying injections, a good thing to try is to do one of these penile Doppler tests because one, uh, you'll see if shots would even work for you because if you have severe venous leak, then injections wouldn't work. Uh, two, you get to try the injection to, to determine whether or not you think it would hurt or is it something you could try. Uh, and finally, you kind of get to the the bottom line as to why the penis is not working well. And, you know, a lot of men uh, and a lot of partners of men, you know, they blame themselves. They think it's psychological. The partner thinks they're not attractive. And that's the underlying problems for erections, uh, difficulties. Or indeed, it's almost always something organic, a true blood flow issue, which you can see uh, on paper or on the, these images, if you will, if you get this test. So something to consider if you're on the fence between uh, injections or surgery to fix your erections. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you found today's video informative. As always, if you have any questions, you can email us at the address on the screen or give us a call to set up an appointment. Until next time, Toby Kohler signing off for Mayo Men's Health Moment, Rochester, Minnesota.